All right, guys, it's been a while since I've done a how-to video, so I'm going to get back into it and do a little how-to here. So I've filmed a few videos at this pond, and uh, if you're just getting into fishing, maybe you want to take your kids fishing, you just want to go out and catch some fish, this is a perfect way to do it. So all I've got here is a cheap rod and reel combo. You can get the whole thing on Amazon for like less than $30. I'll leave it linked in the description below. But basically, it's a little spinning reel on a five-foot travel rod. You know, this thing breaks down all the way down into a little uh, one fit piece here. So nothing fancy, nothing expensive. Definitely if it's your first time fishing, don't go out and buy some $300 setup. And uh, obviously taking your kids fishing, they're gonna bang it up as well. So best to go cheap when you're first starting out. And uh, all we got on the end, on the business end here, no weight, just a, I think this is a 1 16th ounce jig head with a little plastic grub on the end there that to focus and uh we're just gonna be casting this out around this pond around the edge and uh, jigging it there's some little tiny little bass in here as well as some bluegill and uh likely wherever you live all the way from the west coast to the east coast within 10 minutes drive time you can find one of these ponds so let's strap on the gopro and uh, we'll get started all right guys so i'm going to show you a couple of different ways to catch them but this first one all it is six pound test no weight straight to this jig head with a little tiny little grub on there really any color or shape size will work as long as it fits on that jig head and uh, yeah we're just going to cast this out along the uh, bank here jig it a little bit give it a little a little bit of movement now this is our it's just a little piece of plastic so you don't want to let it sit out there and uh, if you do let it sit and drag on the bottom it's likely to snag so keeping it up off the bottom kind of giving it a little jerk every oh there's one already first cast so yeah like i was saying just that easy not a giant but if you just want to go out and catch some fish this is a perfect way to do so it's a tiny little bass there it's a large mouth bass these things grow to over 10 pounds but uh hey just want to go out and catch some fish this is the way to do it all right let's get an epic release on this guy there he goes all right so that was first cast and uh, there's also bluegill in this pond, so we're going to see if we can catch a few more, maybe maybe bluegill to mix it up a little bit. Just to show you what those guys look like as well. But yeah, that's how easy it is. It's literally just cast it out. I like to give it a couple little bumps. And there's another one, second cast. Two in a row. Another little largemouth bass there. On that grub. So this grub... There's that fish there. And this grub here, this is actually a custom hand poured grub that was shipped to me by a guy named Kurt with, uh, ooh, I need to check the name. I think it's Custom Tackle Works. And I'll leave his information in the description below if you want to check these out. Really, any grub will work, but hey, this one's doing the trick too, so you might as well check these out. All right, let's walk around the pond a little bit, check out some other spots, kind of show you what I look for when I'm, uh, you know, picking a spot to fish. It is a pond, so there's not that much water to cover, but I kind of like to target a few areas rather than just aimlessly casting, and I'll show you what I look for for these little fish. All right, guys, so I know how much uh, this GoPro is picking up, but basically we got a bunch of sticks here laying in the water and these are often like areas that I like to target for these uh, small, small largemouth bass and uh, bluegill because often when these fish are small they don't want to be just swimming out in open water uh, they want to be holding tight to cover because if they're in open water they'll be easy easy prey for some bigger bass or other bigger fish out in the pond and uh, these would provide perfect shelter for them so we're gonna cast it around these little sticks. Being careful not to snag them, but uh, yeah, should be a good spot for these fish to be holding. There's one. There's a little bass there. 
Same, same exact lure, same thing. Just casting it along these little sticks that uh, these fish like to hold tight to cover on. And uh, yeah, super easy way to catch fish. Literally, you can do it if you've never done it before. There's our fish. We'll throw this one back. And uh, as easy as this is to catch fish, there's an even easier way to method. So let's get back to our uh, stuff and I'll show you that way to catch them right now. All right guys, so as you saw, super easy way to catch fish with this little, this little grub here. And now all we're gonna do, it's even easier, just take that grub off. And uh, so now you just have your bare jig head here. No weight, no other weight other than the jig head. And then all we're gonna do is put one of these you know, cheapo 99 cent bobbers. And all you want to do is put it up the line however far down you want that jig head to be. So it depends how deep the water is. Here it's probably about three feet or so. So I'm going to put this bobber about a foot and a half. And uh, obviously you can change it up if it's not working. And uh, so there's our bobber to our line and then our jig head right there. And all we're going to put on this jig head is a little night crawler. And uh, you can use other stuff too, grubs, really any little grub will work. And then we're just going to thread it on the hook. This is half of a night crawler. Thread it on the hook there. Again, these doesn't have to be any pro job, these fish aren't that picky. Slide it up a little bit. And there you go. So that's going to suspend underneath this bobber. And then obviously, when you see the bobber go down, that means there's a fish on. So I'm just going to cast it out right here. It shouldn't take too long before we have a fish on. All right. So what we're going to do is cast it out again. Try to get it by those that cover, just because that's often where these fish hang out. But uh, don't have to be too fine with it. And this time, Rather than casting and reeling in to keep it off the bottom, you know, that bobber is going to keep it off the bottom anyway. So we don't even need to touch it. You can just literally just let it sit out there for as long as you want. Obviously, if it's not getting bit after a little while, you don't want to leave it out there too long. To try another spot, it's probably there's no fish there. But you don't have to worry about this thing getting snagged. So we can leave it out there, you know, forever. I think we might have caught all the fish in this area. Uh, we're gonna move on to the other side of the pond. I think since it's a hot day today, these fish are seeking some shaded areas and this area is definitely not protected by the shade. So we're gonna go find some uh, little areas that might be, have a little cooler water, a little more relief for these fish. And uh, we'll pick up with the same, uh, same technique. All right, we're in a little shaded area here. Ideally, the fish should be hanging out here because the water temperature should be a little bit colder than the uh, rest of the pond. So we're going to see if we can... Oh, looks like we're going to bite already. Yep, fish on. What do we have here? Oh, never mind. Just a bunch of weeds. We had a bite though, for sure. Get another hit here. Got it. Yep, fish on. There we go. Another little bass there. Just like I was saying, they're going to be hanging out underneath these shaded areas. And uh, just like I thought, there we go. Right back on the fish again. Oop. Quick release. Really simple method. Just a little night crawler under a bobber. Maybe we can get another one. One thing that I do like to do as well, you can let it just sit there and it definitely will catch fish, but it looks like you're not getting any bites for a while. Just give it a little bit of a twitch every once in a while. And sometimes that will trigger these fish to go after it. Yep. Easy money. Two casts, two fish. is another victim to the night crawler.
There he is. I think I should have started here in the beginning. Definitely more fish in this shaded area. Trying to get out of the heat. Getting bit. Oh, got him. All right. Easy as that. No problem. I think we're going to end it on this one. Give this guy a quick release here. There he is, another large jump bass. We'll give him. Oh. There he goes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. A couple of the quick techniques to catch you your first fish. And uh, if you want to get your kids into fishing, I'd say this is the way to do it. Quick, easy, and uh, a lot of fun to, to catch these little fish. So I'll leave everything linked in the description below the rod, the reel combo, the jig heads that I was using, the little bobbers, and those little grubs I was using at the beginning. So you can check those out and uh, get the same exact setup if you, if you want to. Like I said, don't need anything expensive to catch these fish. And uh, actually it's better if you uh, save a little bit of money if it's your first time fishing or you're getting your kids into it. You don't want them busting up a $100 setup right off the bat. So check all those links out if you're interested. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I always look at the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. So thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you next time.